All right, so the old girl is in the shop. But this isn't really anything bad. It's actually, I hope, going to be a bit of a fun project. I did some work on it last night. <laughs> As you can see. Now, I didn't videotape the disassembly of this interior because I'd done a little bit of it in the past and it involved a whole lot of swearing and I just didn't feel like bleeping it out. But it went pretty well. And so when I put it back together, I'll make a video showing how all of these parts fit, and that'll let you know what you got to do to take it apart as well. Um, some of the models may be a little different, especially if you get the crew, later crew cabs rather than these extended cabs. Uh, and obviously, if you got two doors rather than just one like mine, you'd have a little bit of different setup on that side. Um, but that said, really came apart pretty good. That was the first time... Um, anything in the back seat had ever been out of the truck so I cleaned the hell out of it pulled the CD changer out which used to sit over there on that pad Move, removed the CD changer wiring harness probably going to end up removing uh, this wiring harness as well because that's just speaker wires from what I can tell and I am going to be putting a new stereo in this thing I'm keeping the deck because I like my bit my new deck uh, but I have four replacement speakers, a new amp, and a new subwoofer that's going to go in. And in a minute, I will show you that. Things I got left today, i got to disassemble the doors, which again are not terribly hard. I think I've done that in a prior video. If not, I may make part of that for this. And... Then we're going to pull a little bit of more, a little bit more off the dash, just to get everything opened up where I have access to all the wires, because I'm going to be running all new wiring for everything. I'm going to be running all new speaker wires, not using any more of the factory stuff because they're so small, and you know, just I'd rather run good stuff. So that's where we're at right now. So now let's go take a look at what we've got. Now this is what we have to start with. Got a hundred feet of 14 gauge wire. A new Rockford Fosgate T400 4 channel amp, which is good for 100 watts 4 channels at 2 ohms. It's a new JBL GTA 0860s, also rated 100 watts at about 2 ohms RMS, which so that should be a pretty good match for the amp. And we have a new 8 inch 250 watt amplified bazooka to replace the heat. 1998-ish vintage version that came out of the truck, which still basically works, but some of the controls are getting, uh, the restats are wearing out and getting real notchy, and so I figured it would be worth doing. We've also got the controls, remote mount controls for the bazooka, so we can tweak that on the fly, which will work nicely, and then that's what's going to be going in. Still waiting on all my wiring. Uh, so I'm going to be able to get everything installed and put the speaker wires running, but I'm not going to be able to run the power yet until that comes in. So, let's get to work. Alright, so for these older trucks, to get the door panels off, the first thing you got to do is pop off that, which is just pops off. And this one again just pops off apparently the last time I did this I didn't feel like putting that thing back in these are typically little pop pins like that guy there where you have to push the center in and then it pops out uh, I obviously have lost some so I'll be putting that back because I've got a few extras from there, this is always fun because you end up stabbing yourself. There she goes. That's a cover for a screw.
which is down in there. I'll try to get a little light on that. Because what that does is that screw lets you pull the door handle off, which is helpful. I think this also pulls up. Yep. And then you can unplug these, which are just fairly standard. And I need two hands for anyway, but you can pull that up. You can see the metal clips and hold it in. And that's pretty much it. Once you get that, then I and you take this screw out, then I believe the whole door panel just lifts straight up and off. So I'm gonna go get a little, looks to be about a, maybe an eight millimeter. To get that off, we're gonna unplug this and we're gonna pull the door handle, door panel. The cool thing about this is you don't have to take the bolt all the way out and risk dropping it into the door. It stays with that, and it is an eight millimeter. So once you get that off, And if I'm correct, this should just lift off. You can see those tabs here and all the way along the bottom. The left side fit in those holes. And that's it. Oh yeah, and I guess <laughs> should remember to pop that off first. Oh well. No harm. Speakers are fairly simple. This will accept but all four speed all four positions on this truck will accept six by eights, which is kind of nice. That's what those are. And the same thing back here, I've already pulled them. Not much to that. But now we're gonna go repeat on the other door. Now this side actually had the two pins in here, but both of them have broken over the years. You see they've they're missing a leg so they don't spread out quite like they're supposed to. So we're gonna replace these. If nothing else, I'll pull some off the junker truck and we'll replace these when we put the whole thing back together. So over the years, these window switch plugs have welded themselves pretty well inside of that and the latchy things kinda of cracked because they were all brittle. I don't think it's going to hurt it long term, but something you got to be consider when you're dealing with 24 year old plastic. But all that's disassembled. Now we got to get our screw out of here and lift the door off. These lower kick panel pieces, you pull up the rubber molding and then they should pop right out. Again, got a little hook and two clips. I disconnected the battery because having all these lights on with the doors open is gonna kill it and I don't want to do that because I like my battery. Same thing here. Nice and simple. But that should give us some access up here to follow the speaker wire. What I'm going to end up doing, I think, I can show you back here. This is the factory wire that I used before. It goes through this little rubber flex boot, but it's actually taped to it inside. So I'm going to have to get in there right here and cut that tape and then what I'm probably going to do is 
cut this connector off, tape my new wire to here, and use this to pull the new wire through that to get it over to where the speaker is going to be. Just a thought. That's what I'm going to probably try to do here as well once I get these speakers out. But other than taking the radio assembly down and uh, disconnecting it to get access to all of the wiring, this is, uh, this is where we're starting. And so we got a lot more to go. But most of this stuff isn't going to be terribly interesting. Like I said, when I get back to the point that I'm going to be reassembling the interior, I'll do that kind of step by step, especially in the rear, because there's a few weird things back there. Nothing terribly complex, but uh, just a little strange. So, thanks for watching.